Yeah, very. Um, thought it was a hard-fought game. I think um, we betted quite well, especially in those first 10 overs. Um, and I think after, I think we, we were about 12 to 15 short for where we wanted to be. Um, but in the end, uh, the bowlers fought back uh, extremely well. And uh, I think a very good power play set us up. Um, well, I thought that the power play is the easiest time to bet with the ball coming on. I thought they, they mixed their pace up really well um, with, with the two spinners. Uh, and actually Collins, uh, Obuya bowling his leg spin was also quite tough to get away. Um, and I think after that, we, we sort of try to look to play with the wind a little bit too much, which where I thought um, we lost a couple of runs where they played still three, 360 around the ground. And you can see you can even score against the wind. Well, I'm not going to say clinch because, you know, in T20, a lot can happen. Two guys just need to bet well to, to make sure you stay in the game. Uh, I did think when we got the rate up to about 13 to 14 and over that they weren't going to do that for 10 overs long. But Collins kept them in the game for, for a very long time. But also credit to our bowlers who uh, stuck to their guns and actually uh, bowled very well under pressure. Um, and uh, do you think they had a chance later on uh, when they were batting? Uh, were you confident? Uh, well, they're, they're, they're always in for a shot. I mean, at that stage when they would taken it very deep with only four overs to go with um, they needing 14 and over. I think if they get one or two big overs still at that end, uh, when, when the guy set on 60 can still score an over of 20, that they, they, they would get him really, really close to the game. Um, but then again, uh, when we bought that over, I think it was Fred Klaas who bought the 17th or 18th. Uh, Getting two wickets of which the one of the guy who got uh, 62 with a brilliant call and bolt that set up the win for us. Uh, then, then I was confident we had the win in the bag. Okay, do you think uh, you have any learnings from this match or something that you need to improve or any other thing that? You um, well, definitely, obviously, the one that that, that um, the game is never won until until the end. Um, but I think throughout the day, I think if you see Singapore beating uh, Scotland. Uh, and, and Kenya running us quite close. I mean, there, there are no favorites, I don't think, in this tournament. Every can, everyone can beat everyone. Um, and, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the wicket, who's going to play on that. But I think um, in these conditions, everyone is equal and it's going to be a hard full tournament with uh, plenty to look forward to. So you think it's been a good start to the tournament? Well, I don't think uh, the tournament could have asked for anything better. Um, obviously, for us, the result goes our way, which is great, going one from one. Um, and that's getting close to our target of trying to win six out of six in the good round.